St. Petersburg, Europe's fourth most popular city with a 5.6 million population and built on 42 islands threaded with winding waterways and charming canals, was a hive of activities as thousands of delegates descended on it for the second edition of the Russia-Africa Summit. The Economic and Humanitarian Forum, hosted by Russian President Vladimir Putin, was themed for peace, security and development. Zambia's Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Minister Stanley Kakuo represented President Hakainde Hichilema at the forum, where Mr. Putin expressed interest in joint venture partnerships with Zambia in producing electric vehicle batteries. We've been able to engage on issues to do with trade, uh, to increase the volume of trade. Of course, uh, Russia has expressed interest in countries like our own country. Uh, I was able to discuss with President Putin on the issues of uh, mineralization in Zambia, investment in the electric vehicle motor industry. We had that discussion as well. So we had a broad spectrum of uh, engagements and I think it's been a successful summit so far. Ties between the two countries are further being strengthened with the Zambian mission in Russia now facilitating for forging of investment partnerships between the Zambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Zaki, and the Russia Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The two organizations are supposed to forge partnerships to set up investment in various economic sectors which are still yearning, like in agriculture, in mining, in energy. Zambian ambassador to Russia, Shadrach Lubita, has revealed that the mission has also received an offer to further increase annual education scholarships from the current 140 to over 500. The two-day forum provided an opportunity for African countries, Zambia inclusive, to sign cooperation agreements with Russia in various sectors and identify possible companies for forging partnerships with. The one we signed yesterday had to do with collaboration on issues to do with justice. But the one that uh, Zambia is very keen to sign is the one with the exchange of prisoners. As you know, we have a lot of our students who are studying here in, in Russia, more than five, six hundred of them. And sometimes they get out themselves in the wrong side of the Russian law. And they end up in prison after conviction. We've had deep discussions between myself and uh, on behalf of our government and the Russian government on how we can quickly execute the MOU on the exchange of prisoners. As the two-day Russia-Africa summit comes to a close, the Zambian delegation is going back home happy that it has signed cooperation agreements in various sectors and also that Russian President Vladimir Putin has expressed interest in partnering with Zambia in the production of EV batteries. Brian Moale, ZNBC News, St. Petersburg, Russia.